What's up guys, good morning. I just posted this on Twitter because this is freaking crazy. I just read the 8K a little bit, not all of it in detail, it's a lot of pages. Um, but I wanna share some things with you, some important things, and it doesn't look that good. And it makes no sense really. Like we just did a reverse stock split to get over a dollar. Now they wanna do another reverse stock split. So I'm gonna be talking about that today. Of course, none of this is financial advice. You already know that I'm not an advisor or anything. This is just my own opinion and telling you exactly what I plan on doing from here. Drop a like, would always love that. But this was the tweet that I just posted. At this point, I would vote no on the reverse split if Mullen is going to be what they say they're going to be, then they can come up with strategies to get this over a dollar by September, no more games. And this is facts right here. They have news. They, they've posted news before where they have let the stock run and it has done wonders in our past, right? But for some reason, they want us to vote yes, again, on a reverse stock split for a one for two or a one for 10, which means you're just gonna divide your share count by either two or by 10 right? And then the stock price is going to rise. So if it's 10 cents at some point and they do a one for 10, then it'll be a dollar, which would be pointless. So my first thought on this is, okay, well, maybe this is just a backup plan and they won't initiate this until uh, September, right before the deadline. And they do believe that they're not going to drop below 10 cents. That's my first thought on this. The other thought is, What's the point of doing a reverse stock split right now? There would be no point. This would have to be a last case scenario that they just have to vote on just because they wanna be NASDAQ compliant by September. So then I ask, why did they do a reverse stock split, 25 for one reverse stock split back in May, I believe. That goal was to be NASDAQ compliant. Then they put out news that they were NASDAQ compliant, but now they're not NASDAQ compliant. So it makes no sense horrible, horrible structure, horrible plan, horrible CEO, horrible board, horrible, all of it. You can see there's 11 things they want to go over. The first one is to, to elect two class two directors to serve um, for a three year term ending as an annual meeting in 2026. I think this is like Kent Puckett and some other guy. I think you should fire them. First of all, Kent Puckett sold his shares. I don't think there should be anyone on the board that doesn't believe in Mullen company moving forward. Like if you're going to be selling shares, and then the stock price tanks 90%, I don't think you should be a part of Mullen Company. It doesn't make any sense. That's like me starting my own business and uh, betting against my own business, basically. Like selling a product to people that I don't even own, right? It's kind of scammy in a way. You don't even believe in what you're selling, what you're representing, but you want people to believe in you. But then we go to proposal number three, to approve the amendment of the company's second amended and restated certificate of incorporation to effect a reverse stock split of the company's outstanding common stock at the exchange ratio between one for two to one for 10 as determined by the company's board of directors. And you can read above me exactly why they want to do this, but basically they want to do this so that they're NASDAQ compliant. Again, David, I ask, why did you initiate a 25 for one reverse stock split? back in May, if the whole goal was to be NASDAQ compliant and then your stock tanked completely. I don't understand what, you're, what you guys are doing. No one trusts you guys. No one is buying your stock. And just so you know, everyone that watches these videos, we may not be able to do a lot. And I'm not a professional when it comes to <laughs> revolting against the company. But what I would say for you, if you're more interested in Mullen as a company and you really invest in this company because you believe it can turn into something one day, I would not buy any more shares. Now, if you're trying to swing trade this and you think maybe we're going to run 100% any day now, then do you, right? You got to do what's best for you. You got to analyze your investments the best way. But for me, I'm done buying. Like at this point, it's a hold. Honestly, I might wait for a pop then I might sell and then I might buy back in because I do believe it would just crash right back down, right? MCOM just did this. They dropped down to 20 cents or 25 cents. Then they ran to 47 cents and then they crashed right back down. You can see right here, they want to uh, remain listed on the NASDAQ on September 7th, 2022. The company received a letter from NASDAQ listing qualification notifying the company for the bid price of the company's stock. So basically they're under a dollar, so they received a letter. And then it says the board of directors has considered the potential harm to us and our stockholders if NASDAQ delists our common stock from NASDAQ. Delisting could adversely affect the liquidity of the common stock since alternatives such as the OTC. Honestly, let it go to OTC. Like what is the point right now? If it's gonna hurt you guys, then let it go because 
I'm fed up. I'm done with this. Like you guys need to drop news. You have to give back to your shareholders. It makes no sense anymore. So it's amazing that you think people will actually have your back and vote yes on this stuff because people are fed up, they're done with this. So again, I'll be sharing everything on Twitter, tag everything uh, to David, tag everything to his team or whatever it is. I would just be making a voice right now if I were you. Um, so follow me on Twitter, I'm gonna be, I posted something yesterday. I don't know if David watches my videos or sees anything. It seems like they do watch people on YouTube as we've seen before but repost my stuff because this is annoying and we are done. Like they can get this over a dollar if they really wanted to. And that's all I wanted to talk about because that's the most important thing I think that needs to be voted on and we need to vote no. Um, David needs to come out or someone and say something of what's gonna be happening before September. They could easily get this over a dollar with production news, um, actually going into production, producing vehicles. They could easily get over a dollar by delivering these vehicles. There'd be no reason for them to do another reverse stock split. So that's why maybe this is just in their back pocket in case things don't work out the way they want it to, right? So good and bad, but more bad. And I'm voting no on the reverse stock split. Appreciate you all for watching. Let me know what you plan on doing or what your thoughts are on this. And I'll see you on the next one.